Hey everyone, welcome to Chris's Daily Read Aloud, Magic Treehouse Edition. Today we are starting Magic Treehouse book number six, Afternoon on the Amazon by Mary Pope Osborne. If you didn't read book five with us, please go back to those videos so that way you can catch up on Jack and Annie's adventures. We will see what happens to Jack and Annie today on the Amazon. Prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the treehouse. They found it was filled with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was to point to a picture and wish to go there. Jack and Annie visited... the times of dinosaurs, knights, pyramids, pirates, and ninjas. Along the way, they discovered that the treehouse belongs to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian from the time of King Arthur. She travels through time and space, gathering books. In their last adventure, Night of the Ninjas, Jack and Annie learn that Morgan was under a spell. To free her, Jack and Annie have to find four special things. In Old Japan, they found the first thing, a moonstone. Now Jack and Annie are about to set out in search of the second thing. In Afternoon on the Amazon. Chapter 1. Where's Peanut? Jack, hurry! Annie shouted. She ran into the Frog Creek woods. Jack followed her. It's still here! Annie called. Jack caught up with Annie. She stood beside a tall oak tree. Jack looked up. The magic treehouse was shining in the afternoon sunlight. We're coming, Peanut! Annie called. She grabbed the rope ladder and started up. They followed. Jack followed. They climbed and climbed. Finally, they climbed into the treehouse. Peanut! said Annie. Jack took off his backpack. He looked around. Sunlight slanted across a stack of books. Books about ninjas, pirates, mummies, knights, and dinosaurs. The letter M shimmered on the wooden floor. M from Morgan Le Fay. I don't think Peanut's here, said Jack. I wonder where she is, said Annie. How do you know Peanut's a she, said Jack. I just know. Oh, brother, said Jack. Squeak, Annie laughed. Look, Jack. A small pink sock was moving across the floor. Yesterday, Annie had turned her sock into a bed for Peanut. Annie picked up the tiny lump. Squeak! A brown and white mouse peeked out of the sock. She looked from Annie to Jack with her big eyes. Jack laughed. Hi, Peanut, he said. Will you help us again today, asked Annie. In old Japan, Peanut had helped them when they'd gotten lost. We have to find three more things for Morgan, said Annie. Jack pushed his glasses into place. First, we have to find a clue that tells us where to begin. Guess what, said Annie. What, said Jack. We don't have to look very far. She pointed to a corner of the treehouse. In the shadows was an open book. Chapter 2. Big Bugs. Wow, said Jack, picking up the book. The ninja book was open yesterday. Now this one. Who opened them? Jack closed the book and looked at the cover. It showed a picture of a green forest. The trees were very tall and very close together. On the cover were the words, the rainforest. Oh, wow, said Jack. Oh, no, said Annie. What's wrong, said Jack. I learned about the rainforest in school, said Annie. It's filled with big bugs and spiders. I know, said Jack. Half of them have never even been named. It's creepy, said Annie. It's neat, said Jack. He wanted to take lots of notes in the rainforest. Maybe he could even name some, un some unknown bugs. Neat! Yuck, said Annie. She shivered. I don't get it, said Jack. You weren't afraid of dinosaurs. So? You weren't afraid of the castle guards or the mummy's ghosts. So? You weren't afraid of pirates or ninjas. So? You're not really afra afraid of really scary things, but you're afraid of little bugs and spiders? That doesn't make sense. So? Jack sighed. <sighs> Listen, he said. We have to go there to help Morgan. That's why the book was left open. I know that, <coughs> said Annie, frowning. Plus, the rainforests are being cut down, said Jack. Don't you want to see one before it's too late? <coughs> Annie took a deep breath <sighs> and slowly nodded. Okay then, let's go, said Jack. He opened the book again. He pointed to a picture that showed green, blue sky, green leaves, and bright flowers. I wish we could go there, he said. The wind began to blow. Squeak! Stay here, Peanut, said Annie as she put Pe uh, the mouse in her pocket. The wind picked up. The treehouse started to spin. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The wind was whistling now. The treehouse was spinning faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Wild sounds broke the silence. Screech! Buzz! Chirp, chirp! It 
and tomorrow we will read chapters three and four. Chapter three is called Yikes! We'll have to see what happens to Jack and Annie in the rainforest. Thank you for reading with us today. Hopefully you check in again tomorrow to find out what happens next in Jack and Annie's event adventure. Take care, wash your hands, stay safe everyone. Thank you very much. Have a good one.